This is Brigham Kim coming at you live. Today's news report is on the book Third Great Angels by Jerry Spinelli. The first things first, the main character's name is George, but his friends call him Suds. The second thing is that he loves this girl named Judy Billings, and he would do anything to make her love him back. Their teacher, Miss Sims, told them that they had to do good things, like pick up trash and be good and all that stuff. But the first thing is that he is an angel, and he wants to get his halo first, and he would do anything to get his halo first, but before anyone does. So he gets to work and does all that good stuff and works hard to do, too get his halo first. His mom told him that Miss Sim has spies that are always watching them. His sister, whose nickname is Zipper Nose, gets on his nerve nerve and gets all mad and he gets all mad at him. Um so he tries to ignore her so he could get his halo. Then one day there was an apple on Miss Sim's desk and and all of the and they all knew that it was Judy Billings. It that that did it. So they all wanted to bring apples to hope that they would give the to hope that Miss Sims would give them their halo first. Uh, then Miss Sims said that you can't spoil me to get your halo first. Okay, then one day. Uh, he wrote a letter because he caught a that a dog that was running away from its owner, and he caught it. And the next morning, he said that she, Miss Sims, said that she was going to give the first halo to someone the next morning. Everybody was excited. So was Suds. Suds. Suds is George's nickname, so uh, he was scared too, but because he thought that he wasn't going to get it, then then she gave the first Halo two drum roll, please, Kasten Paps. He he was right. He knew he wasn't going to get when when the first Halo. But before he before school, he talked to his mom and said that the girl who got the halo said that he you deserve this more than I do, and the worst thing of all is that i t I took it and then and then I gave it back, and I left after a few minutes passed the doorbell rang, and miss Sims and she talked and talked and and then left and said, "I will see you soon." This book never tells us if Suds earns his halo or not. This, if I could be one character, I would be Suds because he is so happy all the time. Such a good friend and brother looks and on the, and looks on the bright side. I know he's good. He's a good brother because on page 85 it says so for the past week I've I've been doing I've been doing one nice thing for my sister each day and all and we all know it would be hard to do every to do a nice thing for our sibling every day If I could change one part of the book it would be that Suds gets his halo first. If I could change the ending of the book, I would say that he would um, also show, it would say that he would also get his halo. The point of view of this book is first person. It, it takes place at his school and at his house. This was a great book. I loved it. It had great details and pictures. I'd give this book a eight and a half out of ten this book is n a fiction novel i'd recommend this book to people who who like being kind and reading about school thanks for turning in today and and <laughs>
turning thanks for turning in today for a live news and book report.